Ford's dropping billions on electricity. Volkswagen may bring an electric microbus to Sin City. And Aston Martin is all, but we want to be big boys in the supercar world. <laughs> Plus, I'll tell you how you can own a famous Ferrari F40, but don't get your hopes up. Oh, and it's Monday, so we'll crown another commenter of the week. Hey everybody, I'm Derek D. Glad to have you here. Where's here? Why, Fastlane Daily, of course. The Ferrari F40 is an icon and may be the coolest supercars, one of the coolest supercars of all time. That wedge-like shape and squared off headlights scream high performance of the late 1980s and the 2.9 liter twin turbo V8 makes a magical sound. That being said, owning one of these Italian masterpieces is uh, out of the budget for most of us because prices push a million dollars or even more for an LM. Well, it's the holiday season, so there is some good news. Haggerty gives you a much less expensive option and shows you in this video how to put a version together using Lego pieces, one brick at a time. The Ferrari F40 Lego kit sells for $99.99 and includes 1,158 pieces. 100 bucks, not bad, you know, I, I, although it probably costs $13.67 to make all those plastic pieces in real life. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's not the real thing. But let's be honest, it's the closest any of us are getting to owning one. And I gotta say, the music in this video is great. Straight up 8-bit Nintendo styles. Ooh. Like that, Erica? Oh yeah. I dig it, yeah, good stuff. Ford just dropped some stacks, and they're going all Oprah with electric cars, like, you get an electric car, you get an electric car, you, all right, yeah, you get an electric car. Wasn't sure if they had a license. Oh, you gotta be careful. But they do. Yeah. Okay. Found it. He held it up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Mm. You know why? Because Ford is spending $4.5 billion to expand its electric vehicle portfolio by 2020. It's the largest single investment over a five year period in Ford's history in electric vehicles. Well, what will it do, you may be asking? It means Ford will, I'm sorry, it means Ford will add 13 new electric cars to its lineup during that time. By 2020, 40% of all Fords will have some electric element. The plan includes plug-in hybrids, traditional hybrids, diesel fuel powertrains, EcoBoost technology, and battery electric propulsion. Propulsion. Propulsion? Propulsion. You can say propulsion. Propulsion. Yeah, there's different ways you can say it. Mm. Propulsion. There you go. There you go. Propulsion. <laughs> Seems like Ford is trying to be the Tesla of mass automakers. I guess those electric cars are also going to be Built for tough. Drop it on me. It's my favorite. Oh, and speaking of electrified whips, let me break you off this teaser of Volkswagen's brand new concept for the Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, January 6th through 9th in Las Vegas. Not much going on there, except we recently heard that VW may show a pure electric microbus, or combi, as it's known in Germany. We see an LED grill, a headlight, and, well, just basically a bunch of LEDs. VW said it will be a battery-powered model that, quote, marks the beginning of a new era of affordable long-distance electromobility. Cool. Adding that it will come with a bunch of innovative features. Well, duh. It's an electronic show. Of course it's going to have cool technology. That's what the show's all about. CS. And parting, because it's in Vegas. Yeah. Aston Martin's chief executive Andy Palmer said that the British firm doesn't want to be viewed as a counterpart of Ferrari. Look, bottom line is, they don't want to be known as just another supercar manufacturer, but a brand that offers distinguished pieces of luxury items that carry a very, very high price tag. Wait, uh, that is exactly what they are, no? I mean, it's what I always thought they were. They are who we thought they were, right Dennis? but they are who we thought they were. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Palmer underlined the importance of Aston Martin being viewed as a luxury company if it is to eventually hit the stock exchange with an IPO, initial public offering. He also would like to introduce a new model or version every eight to nine months. It's pretty bold. In 2016, we will see the successor to the DB9, the DB11. Then the revamped Vantage and Vanquish models will be revealed. Then after that, we'll see a guess 
We'll see, I guess, because we don't really. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We don't really know. But I do know. Oh, there it is. Oh, what a yep. relief. No crossover news today. Yep. Not happening. But what is happening is the time that's about to happen. And you know what time it is, Tom? Ooh. Commenter of the week. That's right. Tom shaved his beard. I did. Commenter of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, commenter of the week. Comments. Is that AK or Erica? I don't know. That, yeah, that came right. from a dark place. It did. Comments. Now, was that AK or Tom? I don't know. Mm, interesting. Very confusing. This comment is in response to a Friends Day Wednesday picture we had last week. Remember that gigantic wing on the Mazda RX-8 that said Netflix and chill? You guys remember that, right? Mm -hmm. Side note, so many of you guys were like, oh, Derek, Netflix and chill really means like hooking up or having sex. <sighs> Duh, guys, I know that. I was saying I don't understand why it's on the spoiler of a car. What's the reason? But, FLD fan, so sick with it. Yeah, he's so sick with it, W-I-D, mm -hmm. yeah. I think he had a perfectly good explanation as to why Netflix and Chill was on that RX-8's wing. He said, huh, elementary, my dear Derek, big wings provide massive downforce. Netflix and Chill is the primary mating call of the millennial male. The juxtaposition of these develops a powerful subliminal message directly positioned in the face of all potential bays stuck behind you at every intersection, thus increasing the likelihood of said shorties, shorties, being down and forced to Netflix and chill with you. Also, rotary engine, therefore, Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> That's like my favorite comment ever. I just, yeah, yeah. Holy, the gold star for that guy. I know, this may be one of the best comments I've ever read at FLD, and I've read probably hundreds of thousands like of comments. Of yeah, really, really, all of them. I'm not saying it's the best, but it is up there. Yeah. I mean, just, Top three. just his, his, his verbiage and the way he used oh it. And the way he took down force, down yeah. and forth. Oh, yeah. She's down and forced to chew. Juxtaposition and bay is in the same comment. That's right. Wow. Man, and shouties. And shouties. Oh, man. Don't forget the shouties. He talked about Wayne's Pride and down force. And th thus the line, of course, increasing the likelihood of said shouties being down and forced to Netflix and chill with you. Well done, sir. Well done. I don't think there's much I could say about it. I mean, that just, literary genius. <laughs> there it is. I mean, that comment speaks for itself. So sick with it was definitely sick with it. Way to make perfect sense out of something that made absolutely no sense. Thank you, sir. All right, gold star for you. All right, FLD, question of the day is, do you think Ford will be the leader in mass producing electric cars? You know, when this whole thing goes through, it looks like they are heading and investing in that direction. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in two tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, Tom. And I tell you, that's going to do it for this Monday edition of Fast Lane Daily. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. That's right. So go Netflix and chill. I'll tell you who, I'll tell you what you can own. Oh, f what did people do pre-Netflix? <laughs> little TV and chill? <laughs> little cable and chill? Before that? Before TV, you want to radio and chill? Before that, you want to read and chill? Before that, you want a hieroglyphic and chill? <laughs> <laughs>